Welcome back to another episode of Void City Builds. I am Dan, and today we're going to be looking at something pretty awesome. It's one of the biggest sets we've put together to date, and we're going to be starting this model from scratch. I just opened this up, and we're going to build it from start to finish today. This is the Star Wars Millennium Falcon, and this is the 25 years of LEGO Star Wars edition. So this is not scale to minifigs, but it is a pretty beefy Millennium Falcon. Nonetheless, it is 921 pieces. This is model number 75375. Uh, it is recommended for ages 18 and up, but you know, it's Lego. And once you get the hang of Lego, uh, why not let anybody play with Lego, right? So uh, with that said, I've already taken all the bags out of here. This is just the box. We've got this hefty instruction booklet here, quite a few pages, and we're going to basically try to put this together start to finish here. I'll probably time lapse that, obviously, because you don't want to watch hours of Lego in a row. Maybe you do, I don't know, let us know. I am very happy to have this. I've wanted a decent sized, accurate looking Lego Millennium Falcon for a while, and this one's pretty proportionate I think and it looks just excellent I think there's a lot of detail to it and it's official Lego Star Wars I like that and I think it will look nice on the shelf I wanted to put it up there along with my Seinfeld and the office sets once I get those set up and a couple other ones that I'll talk about in a video in the future but those are a surprise because they are customs that I designed myself and I don't want to give them away anyways Let's get started. Let's build the Millennium Falcon. 25 years of Lego Star Wars edition. Let's get this going. Oh my goodness. Let's see how long 921 pieces takes. I will be starting a stopwatch and we will see. I'll let you guys know at the end how long this actually took.
Well, three hours and 17 minutes later, here we go. This was with 900 some odd pieces and it came out, I think, looking pretty excellent. It has this stand underneath that it can be built onto. I appreciated that during the uh, building process in order to hold the thing because I was kind of worried about that. And all in all, for how it's put together, it's actually pretty sturdy. The bottom side isn't as detailed as the top, but that doesn't matter. It still looks amazing. And it can lift off of this stand, I believe, pretty easily. Let me find out. Yep, there we go. So here's the stand. And it just kind of rests on there with a four stud, which is kind of nice. And it's got this little sign on the front that you can angle however you want. There's also this one little sign here that just kind of sits on the ground. That's all they had for it, so I guess that just sits there, I don't know. But here we go. This is the finished Millennium Falcon. The turret doesn't turn or anything, but that's fine. The dish has a little bit of movement to it, and you can move it up and down and whatnot. <coughs> So that's pretty nice. I especially like the blue tube they have on the back there for the propulsion system or whatever you would call it. I think that looks pretty nice. All in all, I am quite satisfied with this. This is a very fun build. These are pretty cool. The top and the bottom plates sort of snap together internally, which is nice. It kind of holds them in place. Yeah, all in all, very fun project, very fun model. Let me put this back on the stand here. Yep, as easy as that. Now it's back on the stand. And there we go. It's a very impressive kit, and as has been pointed out in a lot of articles and advertising already, it's probably the most affordable, yet at the same time detailed and awesome looking LEGO Millennium Falcon there ever has been. So make sure you guys go grab this while you still can. This just released around now, I believe it was uh, late March, early April. Yeah, get your hands on this. They've got a couple other ones. There's like an R2-D2 I saw. There's the, um, what is that? The Carillion Corvette or whatever, Princess Leia's ship from the very beginning of the first Star Wars Episode Four, that is being chased by the Star Destroyer. That's a pretty nice model. It's roughly the same size as this. All in all, I'm happy to finally have a Lego Millennium Falcon. This is pretty awesome. It will look great on the shelf. Anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in, watching that very long LEGO build today. We'll see if Toast can top that one anytime. He always is getting awesome new sets, awesome new vehicles, so I'm sure he's got something he's waiting to build, and we'll see it pretty soon. Otherwise, uh, until next time, I've actually got a very interesting build I'll be doing next. It's not LEGO, it's not building bricks, but it is a build. I'm going to keep you in the dark about this one until I get it ready to go, but it's going to be pretty awesome, I think. I think you guys will enjoy the next one as well. Well, until next time, I am Dan. Thank you for watching Void City Builds. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.